Hey, what's up, guys? I am Brian. This is Tech Therapy. Today's session will be on projectors versus TVs. This conversation we have had in the AV community for many, many years. Which camp do you fall under? Projectors, dedicated home theater room, large immersion versus the mobility of TVs, the contrast ratio, the picture quality. But where things have changed and where things have been altered is TVs are now creeping into projector territory, getting as large as 98 inches, 100 inches, and the plan is to move beyond that into projectors' main advantage. And the disadvantage for projectors throughout the years has always been what to do with the screen. I believe that has been answered today by Vivid Storm. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Now, while this is a product review, you will see an unboxing and specs throughout the video, as well as some demo material, which you just saw. This is not a commercial. I have no desire to do a commercial, even though it was sent to me by Vivid Storm. This is their S Pro a motorized projection screen loading from the bottom, I do think it's an interesting discussion because it is a solution to a question that many of you have. So we talk about TVs mostly on this channel and it is brought up all the time where at a certain size, where does the TV get too heavy and is too awkward to have in a normal residential living room environment? I am here in a home theater. This is an 83 inch TV. You put an 83 inch and 85 and larger in a regular room, it does become an obstacle. It does become awkward from a design standpoint. Many people don't want a blank screen hanging on their wall, especially something when you get to the 198 inch sizes this huge plastic thick metal thing hanging from your wall even an oled is very hard to make look elegant this becomes the main advantage at a more popular product now which is the short throw projector and or laser tv never love the term laser tv because typically you're back into a dedicated home theater where laser tv makes it sound like it can be again in a residential room with a screen like the s pro with a motorized screen that is only about six and a half inches wide or deep you can place it on a piece of furniture or and on the floor and then let it rise up and then disappear. We are getting ahead of ourselves here. Now, while I'm speaking, you'll be watching an unboxing. You'll see what comes in the box. We'll also put price, available sizes, tech specs throughout the video so you can see it there. I'm more about the discussion of the screen and how it can actually help you. So short throw projectors are something I never loved much because when you get back into a dedicated home theater, I much rather have a long throw over my head, bolted, I don't want to see it, have it shoot onto a screen. The laser TV and or short throw only being a minimal size, no bigger than a DVD player, thicker obviously, or a gaming console placed on a piece of furniture shooting only a few inches ahead of itself is an excellent design, an elegant design. It can also be placed within furniture. However, the screen then goes back into being the biggest issue. Now, what's ironic about the screens that rise up is they create a mobility that TVs never had. With TVs, obviously, if there's an issue or you buy a new one, simply unplug it, give it away, move it into another room. However, now that TVs get to this price point of 20,000 and up, or just the sheer size, who are you gonna give that panel to? Who are you gonna sell that panel to? Once you buy a TV over 100 inches at that price point, that's your TV 
forever at 200 pounds or 100 pounds. You can't move it into another room or a smaller room. You're kind of stuck there, which is interesting. Projectors, it's the opposite. Even if it's a long throw, which VividStorm does sell long throw projector screens, I have several samples here that they use that can be motorized from the top or bottom. We're gonna stay with laser TV short throw for this discussion. Once you make the commitment to buy the screen, you can switch out the projector all you want. You can start with something more affordable, something cheaper. There's plenty of offerings from Samsung, LG, other companies that are now getting their hat in the ring from all the other projector brands. There's so many options. You can start cheaper, move your way up. But the main thing is the mobility. Unplug it. Put it away if you like. You can actually take the screen, unplug that, and move it away as well. Now, mobility is nothing new. There's any amount of projector screens you can buy on the market that are very cheap that you can set up on tripods, collapse, get rid of them. However, nothing this high end or this elegant that you can leave on a piece of furniture. It looks good closed. Decoratively, you can also easily cover it. Again, it's only about six and a half inches deep. It can be hidden very easily and set up in many different ways. It can be put on a older TV stand or a wider piece of furniture. It goes up to, this model goes up to 100 inches, the one that I have. It goes from 72 all the way to 120 as far as the ones that you can purchase. But to give you that size, and mobility, meaning also Super Bowl Sunday or TV night, grab your projector, collapse the screen, throw it in your car, bring it to a friend's house, set it up on their furniture, and boom, you have the same experience you have at home. And unlike those other mobile cheaper screens, here is a UST ambient light rejecting screen. It's very thin, you can't see through it. Now it's not acoustically transparent like a lot of other screens, but for the living room space, you wouldn't have speakers behind it anyway. So you saw in the video that you couldn't see the TV behind it. But what you saw more than anything is a 77 inch TV, which seems large on my wall, is completely dwarfed by the 100 inch size. Now the main strength of any projection screen is what I just said is the size. To have this rise up in front of my 77 inch OLED was amazing to see the immersion of a hundred inches. You think that size difference isn't that large. It is massive. Living with the product for about two weeks, that's two weeks of football, regular TV watching, movie watching in either a dimly lit room, moderately lit room, and or a dark room, that's movies, football. I became very comfortable with the concept of a laser TV. There was times where I would literally power the screen off and leave it up, but also with the USB dongle to be able to turn the projector on, have it come up together, you can envision how having just the device there with the screen behind it and having that whole wall to do with what you will is such an advantage to keeping a TV there covering the entire space. But I became very comfortable with having football, all the content that we watched even as a family at 100 inches was something that was very hard to go back to a 77 inch TV, which is terrible for me because I don't want to have a large TV in that space. In short, the S Pro from Vivid Storm is an amazing option for all the reasons that would typically escape projectors. All the reasons you would typically avoid a projector screen, elegance, quality, being able to have this screen disappear in a way where you would never see it is such a strength. Also being able to take it with you, easily hide it, but most importantly, leave it where it is and get that wall back is why I recommend this product. So in short, for a TV guy to be able to recommend this product is something that I think is 
game changing. I'm somebody who would love to have one of these larger TVs that are going to be out in the market, but I do think about what happens when I want to upgrade or move on. With a projection screen like the S Pro, that part of it is out of the equation and you can then switch out your projectors as you want to upgrade. Much easier to move and sell a smaller short throw projector than it is to try and take a huge loss on a 100 inch TV. To me, it is an excellent solution to a common problem that faces all projectors. Highly recommended. Give Vivid Storm a look. Check the description below for all their information. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Love you guys. Take care.